What's up guys, this is Daryl Russell here, and in this video, I want to walk you through how we track our campaigns, okay? So with SEO, the whole approach that we take is a very scientific approach, meaning that there is other types of SEOs out there, and like, nothing against those guys or anything like that, but their strategy is more a content marketing strategy, it's not really directly SEO. Their plan is to create a ton of content, get traffic on their site, naturally attract backlinks and stuff like that, and then they can naturally rank through that process, okay? And they can work, it's just a much, much longer term strategy it takes several probably years to build up a brand it's like getting traction and traffic and like that right so what we do instead is a very scientific approach meaning we're scientifically building backlinks we're using very specific anger text and very specific link velocities and different things like that so we can deliberately and predictably control our rankings right it's not 100 percent that we're going to rank but we do have a lot of control over whether or not we rank by following specific guidelines, which is basically a science behind our strategy, okay? So to do this, it's extremely important that you track every element of your campaign. So what I want to walk you through today is basically just a tracking sheet that we use for each individual website. We have one for each website, and this allows us to track exactly what's happened for this campaign so far, and just allows us to quickly look at it and go, okay, so this is where this is at now, right? So what this does is it avoids any sort of issues. A lot of people will overuse an anchor text or something like that, or script their link velocity. And the reason they do that is sometimes because they don't know what they're doing, but secondly, because they don't track it properly and you don't realize that they're overdoing it, right? So using this allows us to quickly look over it, all right? So nice short video. Let me just walk you through what exactly it looks like, okay? So we have these different tabs here. We have info, we have anchor text analysis, the homepage, we have internal links, we have links, and we have affiliate links if you're doing an affiliate site, okay? Now, the info tab is very, very simple, okay? Here's what it is. It has the site login, so a cPanel or anything like that, so you can log into the site so you don't forget it. Nice and simple, right? And by the way, guys, we're using Zoho for this, so zoho.com, docs.zoho.com. Just allows us to host them very easily without giving them all to Google or on Google Sheets or anything like that. I prefer Google Sheets, but basically the same thing. It's just a habit, really, uh, for me to use Google Sheets, but for all our SEO projects, they're all on Zoho, and as you can see, Basically the same thing, sort of spreadsheet system, Excel, same sort of idea, right? So site logins at the top, persona, so any information you want to have about this persona that we created, so the name, the birthday, sometimes you need this for logging in, verification purposes, stuff like that. The email address, of course, the email password, the verification number, if you use like a SIM card or anything to verify it, uh, the address, phone number, email, and so on, okay? Basically all the information there for the accounts that we're creating, right? Then we have the social profiles and we list basically a bunch of them, like Gravatar and whatnot, we're not gonna use all of these maybe, and have like the email, the username, the password, a URL, and whether or not it's indexed, so that basically counts towards how effective it's gonna be, all right? So that's the first page, okay? Nice and simple, just storing the information about the profiles and the website and the logins, all that sort of stuff, okay? That's the important stuff, okay? And then we go over to anchor text analysis, okay? So what this is, is analyzing the sites that are ranking for our main keywords, we can have um, different ones for different keywords on this page, but this is the main keyword, which is in this test example, so it's not a real site, it's just an example site, it's like best table source, okay? And what we've done is basically gone ahead and looked at the types of anchor text, okay? So target URL, brand, topic, NA, miscellaneous, and basically obviously the total as well, which is the total of all those links, right? And what we're gonna done is we'll look through every single backlink these sites have, and we've analyzed which type of anchor text it is. Now, this isn't actually real data, um, it's just something uh, someone in my team put together as like a, a sample that we'll get through, right? But basically we go through them and say, okay, how many of these anchor texts are target anchors? Target meaning it has some sort of variation of the keyword in there, right? Then URL, and URL is obviously domain.com, example.com, whatever, right? Brand is like a brand name. Topic, so anything relevant to the topic that doesn't include the target keywords that we're going after. NA is obviously anything that doesn't really count, so it'll be blank or something like that. And miscellaneous would be anything like click here and stuff like that, right? And you go through that and we calculate, okay, here's the percentages that these sites have on average based on the top four to five sites, something like that, right? And then this gives us like a rough sort of ratio what to aim for. Again, this isn't real data, but this is what we normally do for every single site. So we have this data stored all the time. It's not just something we do once, it's constantly kept in a tab so we can constantly go back and reference it whenever we need to because what's gonna happen is as we're building our links, we're gonna be referencing back to this data and analyzing if we're on track to kind of match the the average anchor text ratios of the sites that are actually ranking, okay? So these are the top ranking sites. I had another video on why you need to do that, but this is basically how we're storing it, okay? Then internal links is next, okay? 
So this is very simple. We just basically just explain like which pages link to which other pages. Okay, so this page here links to this page, right? And it has this anchor text. And we do the same for every single link that we have. And what this allows us to do is basically just track the anchor text and obviously the internal links, right? So for internal links, it does matter what anchor text you use. If you use heavily optimized anchor text every single time, that will cause you issues, okay? So we can't use best table source every single time we link to that page, okay? So we're using a URL here. We're using, uh, obviously, target anchors there and miscellaneous here and miscellaneous here, right? But we're mixing up all the time because we don't want to have our site at risk of over-optimizing the internal anchor text, okay? And basically, we're just tracking all these different links. So all of these link to the home page, all these link to the portable page, all these link to the contract page, and so on. And if you want to, you can have different sections down here for different silos and all that sort of stuff, right? But that's basically how that works, just tracking all our internal links on this page because uh, this tab because it actually matters as well these days okay next up is the links which is links pointed to us so backlinks and this is basically how we're tracking that okay so at the top we store information about social signals so whenever we order a blast we can just add it here or next to it or whatever like that right but we keep a, a list of the social signals so we can insert a new row and we can put on this day which is march the 18th or something i don't know uh 50 signals right and stuff like that. And we have a list there of every single time we're updating social signals. So we know exactly when we last did it. So we're not overdoing or anything like that, right? Then we have the different links, okay? So the website that's linked to us is stored here. The URL that's linked to exactly is stored here. The anchor text that you use is here and the date and the type of link it is here and obviously whether or not it's indexed, okay? So let's just break it down a little bit, nice and simple. The website address, that's very obvious, okay? The link URL, what we do here is we have we bundle them basically um, by page, okay? So these are all linked to the homepage, they're all together. We have a separate section down here linking to the contractor page, a separate section down here linked to the portable page, okay? So we kind of bundle that um, dependent on the URL, so it's a different egg text ratio per URL, right? Because that's kind of how SEO works, right? So that's how we do it, it makes it much easier. We we have the anchor text, of course, and we color code these. If you remember back, by the way, to get yeah, everybody mentioned it here, uh, the anchor analysis fin. So we have red for target, um, green or lighter green for URL, darker green for brand, and stuff like that, right? So we go back to this tab again. We're basically color coding these um, depending on uh, which type it is, right? So we've got some URL anchors in there and uh, miscellaneous and stuff like that, right? So you can see it kind of um, how exactly we're storing that data. So we track the anchor text. Then we have the date that the link was gone live. This is very important for references back in the future. If you want to keep um, a steady velocity, you want to track like whether or not um, a certain link moved to something in the rankings. So you can check back, okay, this link went live on this date and this happened after that, right? Now it's not exact if you do multiple things at once, but it gives you that data to look back on, okay? And then obviously we have the type as well. This is just important for just tracking purposes. So we can very quickly see, okay, this is a PBN, this is a PBN, this is a guest post, this is a profile link, this is a link session, whatever like that, right? Now index is the final bit of this, which is extremely important. And index is basically whether or not the link is indexed and what date it was indexed, okay? So this is really important, guys, because if your links aren't being indexed, they're not very good links, okay? So you need to make sure they're being indexed. So we constantly track um, when they're indexed and we update the date here so we know exactly which date they were indexed. Again, for looking back as well, that's very useful data, okay? So that's kind of how we're doing that. Um, if you want to, you can add in this little date of last link fin and you can say, okay, where well, the last link was today, you put in today's date and then you know exactly when the last link was built, just for a very quick reference. Then of course, as we did this fin here, we also do the exact same stuff further down here. So for every different page, this is for the homepage, for the contractor page, we do the exact same fin. And then for the uh, portable page and whatnot, we do the same sort of fin there as well. And we also have like, this is within the portable, so the DeWalt DWRS, whatever that is, um, that's within the portable category, so to speak. So that's in the same section, okay? If that makes sense. Now, that's kind of the main elements. We also have this, which is basically, as we build in the links, we update this little thing here. We update how many of each of these individual types of links that we've added. And then obviously that builds a percentage and then that automatically fills into this table fin here, this pie chart, sorry. And then we can see exactly, okay, here's the pie chart. Here's exactly um, the ratio we're at. And then also the percentage as well. We can reference, go back to this and say, okay, so this is 14.29%. And then the top ranking sites have 22.92%. So we have a little bit of flexibility. And again, guys, this is made up data just to show you guys how exactly we're doing it um, in Zoho Sheets, okay? Now, 
the final tab for us is very simple. Oh, by the way, this little black line just indicates like it's a separate section, okay? That's all we're doing, it's very, very simple. Not very pretty, but it's not me that's in here managing this, it's my SEO guys that do this, all right? So, I have an in-house SEO guy, all right? And then the last tab is the affiliate links, all right? And the affiliate links is basically, if you're doing an affiliate site, just for quick reference, here's the product name, here's the link, right? So we can very easily, whenever we're doing a new blog post or anything like that, we can quickly grab the data and add the link, right? That's all I was really there for, okay? And that's basically how we're tracking our campaigns. There's nothing too crazy, but it's just allowing us to track all this data, okay? Now, if I'm 100% honest with you guys, this changes, okay? So we don't have an exact SOP down that never changes. SOPs change every week at least, right? So we're constantly tweaking this and refining this and realizing issues we have, but as of right now, this is what we're using. So I thought I'd share with you guys. I know a lot of you guys struggle with like systemizing this stuff and tracking it all, especially when you start like like adding a team and stuff like that, it gets confusing about what's happening and mistakes happen. It's completely normal, by the way. Um, people screw up. I screw up and everyone else screws up, okay? But if you wanna know how to track your sites, this is basically the sheets we're doing. And maybe I can hook you guys up with a download for Excel or whatever you use. Um, so you can go ahead and use this. Um, I'll think about that and the link will be below if I add that. But that's basically it. I hope this video is helpful. A nice short video for today. And that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next training video or the next content piece, interview, whatever it is we put out. Um, that's it. I'll see you there.